And joining us now, former federal prosecutor Pat Brady. So, Pat, great to have you. Initially, Russell's parents and boyfriend went public with their support. And now it seems there are cracks forming in her inner circle. Do you think she will face charges? Yeah, that's a tough call. I and mean, I think in these cases, it's it basically what the public interest is. And you just touched upon the, you know, the amount of money this took away from law enforcement to chase her around for two days. But there are a lot of cracks in this case. And clearly, it appears that she made all this up. But in making this decision, the com comparison I can make, I'm here in Chicago. Remember, Jesse Smollett came up with that story about the MAGA supporters. Uh, we're we're going to throw a noose around his neck and they beat him up on Lower Wacker Drive. Well, the public interest there was that he could have created a race riot in a major city and he was appropriately charged and convicted. Now in this case, I'm guessing if I'm the prosecutor, I'm looking to see first and foremost, uh, check her story out completely, but second, probably there's a mental health component to this. I mean, th this is, uh, I, I don't see right now any evidence that she was making a lot of money off this, but if there's a GoFundMe page or some other uh, reason she did it other than that she just wanted attention. So I think that probably cuts against her ever being charged, but she should certainly be held responsible for what the uh, uh, expenditures law enforcement made. And to your point, how do police determine if this was a mental health crisis of some kind? And would that influence their decision whether or not to press charges in this case? Yeah, even the charges you were mentioned before, those are low level, uh, low level felonies at best and likely misdemeanors. So law enforcement, I think rightfully so, has now started focusing more in all the all across the country on the mental health component of people that violate the law. And I know that in here in Chicago and other places, they get intensive training on police officers do and law enforcement in general on mental health. So I think they're going to take a good long look in that. But even you know, if you're living down there and you had all these officers off the street chasing the story down and incurring all these costs on a weekend, you know, they're, <laughs> she needs to pay that back. So that's that, that probably is how the decision will be made. But it sounds like from the evidence I've seen, just it's been publicly reported. It's pretty clear that she made the whole thing up. All right, we'll see what the facts bring. Pat Brady, thank you for joining us. Thanks, Scott. Have a good afternoon. You as well. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.